Today, I'm going to motivate every researcher to write a review paper. What are the pros and cons of writing a review paper? There are basically many pros. Is mean pros basically mean advantages, advantages. But in this video, I will only focus two advantages of writing a review paper. The first one is basically gets more citations than the original research paper. You must need to understand the difference between original research paper and review paper. Original research paper basically mean when you do some experiments and you get some results and then you publish those results. That is basically original research paper. Review paper is basically you are basically compiling, collecting other researcher works. For example, you writing a review paper and you compiling data from 100 research articles, research paper, right? So there is a big difference between review paper and original research paper. So review paper gives more citations. How is I already discussed that this is my profile here. So this first is my review article. The second is also review article. This is also review article. This is so you can see that my most of citations come from review papers. This is this is what I says that uh, in, in if you are applying for postdoc or PhD or whatever, people look into your profile here, Google Scholar or ResearchGate or Web of Science. So they are looking for citations, not for number of publications. Yes, number of publication is fine, but. When people cite your work, people acknowledge your work, this means your, your work has some value. So this is the most important parameter citations, right? Not only my profile gets citation from review article. Look, my professor also, his profile also gets citations mostly from review papers. You see here, this is a review paper. This is also a review. This is also a review. This is also a review, you know, structure ceramics by electric spinning. It's very generalized stuff, you see. And not only him, his supervisor or his boss is also getting um, uh, most citations from review, a review, an introduction to electric spinning in inner fabrics. So this is what I am saying that uh, review paper gets more and more citations, right? Okay, let's go to the second point. The second point is, when you are writing a review paper, it gives you full command on the literature. For example, you are working in any field, you are working in artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence, you are working in computing, you are working in simulations. So when you are writing a review paper, it gives complete and full command on the literature. You basically know what's going on in the field you are working basically. Let me give you here. Let me clarify this. This is my review paper. I I I I, I, I have written this review paper. Tendam Prescott Solar Cell. This is my name, Kamarwali. So, for example, here I review how many references. One twenty three. This means that I at least read one twenty two twenty two papers for this writing review paper. At least. So this means I have a complete command on a literature. Look here. Uh, I just make the tables here. So from these tables, you see here, uh, people make this uh, tandem solar cell and they publish in this uh, journal. This is a reference. So the, when I want to see one research paper, so I, I will get knowledge only to that paper. But now review paper gives you, uh, the readers, a lot of information about so many uh, original research paper. You see another table here is this. This is another paper, another review table. So they combine a lot of data here. You see here, this is another comprehensive table. So this is this is why the the uh, the, the review paper gives you a full command on the literature, uh, and you know what's basically going on, and it gives you more and more citations. 